We live in Korean countryside. And we are going to do a review on Modern Farmer. My Korean husband. Hey guys, I'm Nicola. I'm Mr. Guan. And we're from the My Korean Husband blog. And we live in the Korean countryside, right? Yes. This is the Korean countryside. And today we are going to do a review of the Korean drama Modern Farmer. Okay, so we have watched episodes 1 to 12 right so we're going to talk about it in general so there's not really going to be any big spoilers so if you haven't watched it yet and you're wondering if you should if you should watch it then yes definitely watch this video i thought this drama is just like handsome guys go mm. to countryside and mm, yeah. just do some stupid things but it wasn't like Which, that it, really. it is it was a, like a little the, bit but yeah in the beginning i thought it was going to be about modern farmer being about like the the main character, the main lead would be this handsome modern farmer and look like the you know the Korean hero in the yeah. in the dramas, and it was going to be this really unrealistic view of the countryside. I thought it was going to be about like handsome rich farmer, and then like oh I'm the poor girl and I'm stupid and uh, that type of plotline. But what is it actually about? It's farming. <laughs> <laughs> so the premise is that there is this washed up rock band, they're in their late 20s aren't they? Yep. So they haven't had any real success as a rock band and they've sort of gone their separate ways but they go together to the countryside to farm cabbages to make some money and they've all got their individual reasons but the lead guy, Minky, yeah, Minky. he owes money to loan sharks, right? Yep. That's quite a realistic thing in Korea isn't it? Like that happens to a lot of people? A lot. Yeah, yeah. So Lots that's that's kind of a scary reality of Korea. That's not just made up to be more dramatic. The village that they go to is the one that he grew up in. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what do we feel about the depiction of the countryside? How do you feel when you watch this drama and you see the countryside? I feel like my hometown. It's quite realistic. Yeah. I feel like they've cleaned up a lot of the rubbish and stuff that you see around in the countryside. Of course, it's TV drama. But actually, a lot of it really rings true. Yes. Look, people are farming cabbages there. Yeah, like they're serious. Literally, this is cabbages. See this? See that? That's cabbages. I'm telling you while we wait for the car to go past. Because we're in the countryside and all the trucks are going past at this time of day. <laughs> so they're actually showing a lot of the reality of the countryside, right? Like farming, like it's not just throwing seeds in the ground and growing. It's like all the stuff, how you have the seedlings and greenhouses and you got to put the, the stuff down and everything like that. All this stuff that we can actually relate to. But were the main characters, like the four guys, are they annoying? They were annoying. They were annoying. In the beginning, but now it's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> I think we said in one of our vlogs sometime that if they had moved to our village and they did the stuff that they did, yeah, we, that we would have kicked them out because the first few episodes is a series of sort of misadventures like that, which is very, very funny. But as farmers, we were like, oh my God. Actually, we don't really farm. Your parents farm. Yeah, my parents farm. We just farm help out farmers. sometimes, but we're living in a farming village. But actually, I'm really, really impressed with the writing of this drama. It's like comedy, but drama, and there's really sad elements as well. Yes. Like, this is actually a really well-written drama. I don't actually really know much about the writer of this drama, but I feel like he's lived in the countryside. Like, he sort of knows what's going on. And the portrayals, like, are very real. Like, you know the house they move into when they first get to the village? Yeah. And it's so run down, and someone might be like, what? That You wouldn't live in a house like that. It's Everywhere, everywhere here. That's the type of houses that are here. So the lead female character is Yoon Hee, and the actress that plays her was Miss Korea, right? Yes, yeah, she is beautiful. I saw photos of her like when she's doing other stuff. I mean, she's so beautiful, but in the drama, she's in her farm gear and has almost no makeup, and her character is so well written and character driven. It's not like if you get frustrated with Korean dramas where the lead girl is just like crying the whole time the airs um, or it's just like eh, nah, nah. like she is a strong character she's um, so she used to be Minky's first love when they were children yes, yes. and so he had this idea about what she would be like now and he comes and finds that she's this strong woman she's a single mother she's the village head so completely different to what he thought and yeah she's just a really really great character there is romance in this drama yes, right but it's course. not like it's just romantic comedy that it actually ends up being about the whole village and all the people in the village and you get so much background to these people like it's like slowly unraveling 
modeling of like their backgrounds and it's just really clever and you know who's the old guy that looks re he's really annoying but looks really old yeah man mangu 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 you think he's going to be the antagonist when the drama starts you think he's going to be like the enemy but actually you find out so much more about him and he actually has a wife from Uzbekistan yeah. and a child and episode 11 I'm not going to give too much away but we were both crying like almost now like I'm like oh that episode because <laughs> look, at my heart. look look at this I'm tearing up because of that episode yeah that episode made us cry really yeah this is a drama that you think is going to be just funny haha -ha, and I cried a lot <laughs> Yeah, because it's similar to our situation mm. and we might have similar situation mm. in the future and I know that there are so many people who have this kind mm. of sad situation yeah. unfortunately So the son who's half Uzbekistan and half Korean was being bullied at school and <sighs> Okay, moving on Also, what about the scene when um, there was hikers from Seoul and they were taking the apples? How did that make you feel? Oh, I feel so bad So they caught these just hikers from Seoul, Seoul stealing these apples and when they said don't steal our apples the Seoul people were like ah, countryside people are so petty oh my gosh and it was like they were trying to explain that they, they all this time and money and effort to to grow this fruit and people just come and pick it because they think they have a right to it and so you were getting like worked up in that scene like ah, oh, Seoul people are like that they don't understand the because countryside because we have a similar situation mm. before they're just taking something from our farm but they think countryside people mm. are very nice people yeah so they think it's fine to do it mm. but mm. it's not it's not okay yeah and some people say stuff like that oh countryside people supposed to be nice and all this type of stuff and so i think that scene really like like struck a chord with you you were like yeah and this drama is showing that stuff this drama is showing these interactions and what's actually like for countryside people People think they, they just throw seed on the mm. ground. They automatically, it just plants. Mm. But it's not like that. You need to put so much mm. effort. And it shows that through the main, the four guys, the main characters, that's what they thought when they came to the countryside. It's like, no, you need this and you need to do this. And they it realize. It costs a lot. Yeah, they realize what it's like. And that's one of the main premises of this drama is showing this. It's not all set in the countryside. There are some scenes in Seoul, isn't there? And I think those scenes are pretty realistic as well, where they're showing the lead character's ex-girlfriend, who is a K-pop star. And it's not showing the glamorous, glamorous stuff. It's showing there's all this dodgy stuff that goes on, and she has to go to these private parties and entertain people and that type of stuff. And so there's a whole storyline there as well that is actually pretty realistic. It is. Mm. Okay, we're trying. We're trying to film this review, and there is the tractor. What's it called? Gyeonggi. Okay, this is coming, and they go really slow, and they go like that. I'm gonna. Sh I'm gonna show you guys. There you go. Some real countryside life. I think the writer knows a lot about the countryside because even things that might seem really unrealistic to people are things that happen. So like uh, the girl searching for the hidden money. Yep. This is just early on stuff you find out so I'm not really giving away big spoilers here. And the guy that can't talk properly. It's like stuff that you've, yes. you've heard about this stuff in the countryside. So even if you're watching this drama and you don't live in the Korean countryside and you think, oh, this seems quite ridiculous, it's actually it's, some of this stuff is not really that ridiculous. So we really, really, yeah, want to commend the writer of this drama. But you know what is actually sort of bittersweet about it? Actually, what makes me really sad is that because these young guys come to the countryside, there's actually more energy yes. in the countryside. And one of the really sad things about living in the Korean countryside is it's mostly just old people. And every, all the young people have moved away to the cities. Nobody wants to farm anymore. And so we live in a village where it's just basically old people there's a few children around but they're old people and when i watch this drama i actually feel really sad that i wish i had community like this i wish we had a village leader that was a young woman like that i i wish that we had that and i actually hope this drama actually makes people sort of think about you know maybe living in the countryside isn't that bad so this drama i think actually sort of has everything like 
Yes, triangle. Love triangle. Yes. Yeah, there's even a love triangle for people that that sort of want that want that type of thing. And there's a bunch of different relationships going on, but it's all it's not like a mukjong drama. Mak it is not. It's it not like not. there's all these relationships, but it's not like a mukjong drama. And it's all this comedy and drama. And I'm just so surprised at how good this drama is. So we've seen up to episode 12. I'm mm -hmm. not I'm not sure how many episodes there are, but I really hope it's got a good ending because just so far we are so impressed with it. So when this drama is finished we will do another video and do full review with all the spoilers so we didn't really give away that many spoilers in this video. So it's still on TV at the moment so when it's all done we will sit down and do a video and talk about everything but this is up to episode 12 and so far yes thumbs up for Modern Farmer. But yeah you can leave a comment and thumbs this video up and share it that would be really great and what else should they do? Follow all the social media. And should they subscribe to our YouTube channel? Yes. That would be really nice. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.